Master the Voice. We're back. I'm Aaron Lowe, and today we're going to talk about vocal cord analysis using software called the Multidimensional Voice Profile software. This software picks up off of uh, over 20 different characteristics of your voice. And today I'm going to show you my voice when it's clean and when it goes raspy due to tension. So let's try this out. We let the machine hear my sound, read it, and it gives me a green circle. And this little red spike means that my breathing dynamics change from the beginning to the end. So let me try it again. I'm going to not lean into it and it'll straighten out that one little little spot. But it means I'm in good resonance and I've got just a, a change in my volume from the beginning to the end. Let's try again. Uh... improve but a little bit not enough so I'm starting a little louder than I'm finishing which means I'm losing a little bit of my breath consistency last time three strikes I'm out uh... there we go so I brought my breath in, I brought my breath to a more consistent pressure, I didn't look at my microphone, I didn't worry about it, I felt my body, I focused on my voice and my resonance and my breath all together as one and I made it consistent. Those are little variables that we can change from time to time. Now let me do one where I grab my voice really tightly and I make a raspy sound which is sometimes what people don't know they're doing before they come in. It's going to show tension. Tension shows up as shimmer perturbation and that shows up as a red coming outside in this area. And let me do another one where I take a chest breath, a big rib cage or a cage breath. Watch this. Again, kind of maximizes the tension out here in this top area. Gave me a little bit of amplitude tremor intensity. So it made my voice tremor based on the breath and the breath that I took. And it really filled out this whole area. It's, it's still better than some people will come in and, and sort of show some of this as really red. All of the time I did these, these lines didn't show up as red because I don't have a polyp and I don't have lesion on the vocal cords. So that, that really picks up off of subharmonic noise and unvoiced segments. These are all like unvoiced, it'll say degree of voicelessness, degree of subharmonics, and degree of voice breaks. Those are things that a polyp creates. So we can measure a polyp acoustically. But it's been fun. Playing with my software is really fun. We'll see you soon.